So the interesting thing that we're doing at the moment is, is taking the, the paper that the researchers have, have written, um, which is a specification of what the protocol is, but, but it's not a specification in the way that we would like it um, as, as implementers. Because it's, you know, the, the, that specification is designed so that you can prove things, um, it's not, and it's, so it's a very high level of, of abstraction. And we want to have um, a specification that has, has as, as small a gap as possible between the spec and the implementation. And at the moment, the, the gap is like this. And we are trying to get the gap down to like almost nothing. And so that means we have to start from the paper and come up with, re-specify -re it, extract the specification of the protocol, put it in a notation that's, that's appropriate for us, and then do a whole step by step of uh, refinements, um, getting, getting from you know, very high level down to more and more and more detailed low level until we get to a point where we say, okay, now this is something that we can actually implement. And then hopefully we can say, well, you, know, you kind of look at the code and the, and the spec together and say, these are the same. We've now, we've now got, you know, we've, meet, we've, we've got a meeting between the spec and the implementation and at least initially we'll just you know, eyeball it and say, okay, those are the same thing. Uh, and then that is something that then can then be run. Um, and, and we're then pretty sure that it's what we want. So at the moment, we have just got to the stage of um, re-specifying the, the paper's description of the protocol uh, in, a, in a new style. Um, and already that's forced me and the researchers to, to ask some you know, pernickety detailed questions of what does that mean exactly? What is, what is that representation? And what about this? And where did you get that from? And, and these are things that in the paper, for the proofs, don't really matter. But we need to be very specific about them. When we're talking about Cardano, we are actually aiming for decentralization, right? And we're aiming for, for something that's, that's, that, that, that actually that is quite unprecedented because uh, we also want uh, the, the system to have different properties depending on, you know, who or how will it be ran or regulated, okay? So, um, that is why our great scientists came up with this great protocol called Ouroboros, uh, which is based on proof of stake. And um, over the past months, we have, we have implemented it uh, to a full extent. Uh, well, at least all the fundamental features are there, right? Uh, we're still, <clears throat> we're still uh, working on a uh, reward system and incentive structure, having discussions, you know, if, if, even, if it should be even there um, in the production. I mean, it's analyzed in the paper, but we're sort of thinking about it now. Uh, and uh, right now we're, we're doing some research re regarding uh, blockchain sharding to further improve uh, performance.